everybody, Moondog here, and I have Corey from New York on the line here. He's uh, the winner of uh, my last contest, the $100 uh, gifts, gift cards over at EVIC. And uh, Corey, uh, tell us, about, you're, you're in upstate New York? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm in upstate New York, and I've been here for about two years or so. Um, I moved here from the Midwest, and uh, it's been good. That's uh, uh, definitely a change of pace. Oh, good. Where, where uh, from the Midwest are you originally from? From Illinois. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Downstate or closer to Chicago? Closer to Chicago. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've moved from the windy city to uh, the snowy city, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I was, I was very excited when, uh, when you reached out to me saying that I'd won uh, the contest. Um, and I know that I hadn't uh, I became aware of you and your channel through uh, the Bad Blood series, which um, I signed up for because it's not uh, maybe an hour and a half, two hours uh, from where I live, and uh, got to watch all of your your live streams uh, uh -huh. that the group did that you host on your channel. And was that um, helpful for you? Kind of went from there. Oh, immensely helpful. That was the first time that I'd gone to that event, um, and there was a lot to learn out. Uh, just kind of the ins and outs and how things oh, are okay. nor normally done for the event um, that uh, might not be explicitly outlined uh, in the player packet and other stuff. Just True. Uh, just kind of how different teams operate and kind of the history between them. So that was immensely useful. And some things we can, we just can't codify because uh, you know the, the 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 faction leadership changes and you know their their styles and you know in terms of organization as well as you know how they actually you know strategize and how they want to play a particular um, game that changes from year to year. So yeah, yeah. Uh, is this your first was that your first large scale um, airsoft event that, or how how long have you um, been playing airsoft? So. Uh... I'm currently in my mid thirties and I started playing in uh, paintball and airsoft in junior high and high school growing mm -hmm. up. Um, so I was, I was out of the sport for about 10 years or so and I've uh, been trying to get back into it. So I think this is probably the biggest event that I'd gone to. Um, so I think the next biggest was maybe somewhere around 200 people. So much, much smaller. Well, I, when I started, uh, the Bad Blood game, I think the, we had uh, 75 players, and we thought that was a big game. <laughs> so yeah. it's grown quite a bit since then. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So, so how did that event get started? It, it started, well, I started doing uh, a lot of uh, local um, organizing of, of events, and uh, I wanted to do a... There, there were two different things that there were three th things that happened. One was I wanted to do a, a game where it had more than just two teams mm. fighting against each other. Because usually, when I ever when uh, ever I helped or organized or attended a, a large scale event that was one like one side versus the other, one side would would easily dominate the other one. And what mm -hmm. ended up happening is that by you know halfway through the game or the day. You just sort of got disheartened, like, well, this is too easy. We're, you know, we're just rolling uh, over yeah. these guys. Or the other, or on the other side, if you're on the losing team or the smaller team, typically, you're just like, oh, mm -hmm. this game sucks, and and you know, just the the game peters out halfway through. And I thought, well, if we if we had more, basically everybody against everybody, then maybe we, you know, we would sustain this this sort of this um, um, thematic game mm -hmm. for the whole day. And so that that's yeah. what, that, structurally that's where, where that came about. Where at one point we even had I think about six or seven different teams, but it just got to be oh. a little too uh, hoary in terms of uh, the um, well, one um, identifying uniforms got, got to be very difficult. Oh yeah, but it was somewhat made it easier when when um, USP uh, when the army adopted USP um, mm -hmm. camo. Uh, there was always it was easy to identify those guys so we just had the usp team and you know just things like that and yeah. um the other part component of that is at the time i also want my my wife was involved with uh um team and training and the diabetes society because she has mm -hmm. she had both and so okay. uh, i wanted to do something uh, i never got into airsoft as, as a career i was always sort of a side you know fun thing to do uh, yeah and, and as so most people 
Yeah. So I and I you know I'm I wanted to do something charitable and and to to give back. So that's the reason why. At first, it was the the first two or three years it was for the. Uh, uh, the Leukemia Society, and then after that, it was for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. So it's been in, uh, the awesome. JDRF since then. And mm-hmm. the third big component to the game was uh, EVIC, uh, wanting to mm-hmm. to host a, a a large airsoft game in the East Coast. And at the time, like I said, the uh, Bad Blood was the largest game I had, which was at 75 players. I said, well, let, let's start with there. Let's, why don't we just have you be the sponsor of that that event? And and uh, they really um, were the driving force of making it a big, almost national awareness kind of event just because yeah. of their involvement in it. Yeah, I don't know if I would have heard about it if EVIC wouldn't have been sponsoring the advertising for the event. Um, so I mean, there's there's plenty of events that I'll hear about after the fact. <laughs> it's like, oh, that was happening in, in the neighborhood? Didn't even know about it. But, yeah, I know. Uh, no, that's awesome. How many years have they been sponsoring that event? Well, if you don't count the one year in 2020 when we had to cancel, um, yeah. it's been 13 years since. Uh, oh, well, that's awesome. Let me let me rephrase that. It's been 11 years since they've been a sponsor. So the first okay. two yeah. or perhaps three years, it was it was just uh, a small local event in in uh, mm-hmm. in New York, um, actually, yep. uh, in um, the Hudson Valley is where we were, we originally started playing over okay. at at a, at a field. Not far from Newburgh. I don't know if you know if you know that area since you're I'm kind of near. Sure. No. Yeah, much much closer to New York City. It was only about like yep. two hours away from New York City. So that's very cool. Yeah, and you know, so you're, you're since you're into um, a lot of other what other besides from airsoft, what other outdoor um, or hobbies do you are you are you into? Um, the other one, um, I've got small kids, so <laughs> um, running's been the biggest thing because they can come along with on the in the running stroller for that. I think the, oh, okay. the biggest thing, uh, this year, I did my first, uh, half marathon in the spring. So that was, where, where uh, was that? That was pretty exciting. Um, it was in, uh, it ended in downtown Albany, New York. Oh, okay. Um, it went down, a, there's a rail trail, um, that heads up from the river, um, that it runs along. It was very nice. Oh, good, good. So, I know that, yeah. I don't know, um, one of the reasons why I got we, we got involved with the Leukemia Society originally was because my my wife was doing it to train for a uh, a marathon. Okay. And um, I know the JD. Yeah. So she well she she did uh, she did a full marathon and, and then two half marathons after after that. But uh, um, the, the I know the JDRF has doesn't do the. I don't. I'm. I could be wrong about this. So if anybody out there knows, I know that they do, they do the one walk, which is their big fundraising event, and that they have one in Albany, and we're going to be a sponsor of the of the one walk in Philadelphia. And I'm not sure if they have something similar in terms of uh, sponsoring training or a half marathon or uh, a full marathon or a quarter marathon event. Um, a lot of uh, charitable organizations that are. Um, associated with with health uh like to do that because you know it's a synergy there between and yeah. fundraising and getting healthier so yeah exactly well, well it's good for it's good that you're you're running that's uh as your kids get older you, yeah uh running is always a good thing that for both your own sanity and and uh, to get them out there though i uh, sadly i've probably done less running since my kids have gotten older just because of uh, a lack of time yeah, I will say for uh, for how hot um, Bad Blood was this year, I was very happy to be only a month past finishing half marathon training. <laughs> that was quite handy. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, uh, nothing's worse than than doing a, a marathon in like really hot weather. <laughs> yeah, I think that they don't schedule them during the middle of summer for that reason, right there. <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes you just can't control that, depending on where you are in the in, in the country. And sometimes it works the other way. Uh, we did. She did a half marathon in Disney at Disney World oh, uh, yeah. in in January, and it was a mm-hmm. rare snow in Florida. It snowed for like wow. all of like five minutes in Orlando. It was crazy. That's ridiculous. Yeah. So. Huh? Yeah, nobody was dressed for it. Obviously, we, we fortunately we still had some of our oh, no. clothes from tra- from traveling down Florida. there. Yeah, but we didn't bring it out to the. I mean, she wasn't going to run in her in her parka. So. 
Just yeah. Gotta suck it up and do it. <laughs> yeah. So oh, um, very fun. Hopefully, you can find some something out of the prizes. So now you got the, you got the prize package I sent you. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Yep. And um, uh, do you have any plans for what you what you could get over at Evic? I'm sure you. Um, yep. I do. Um, it was it was actually quite it's quite convenient because um, I already had picked out before I even won this what the next thing that I was getting from there. Um, there was a uh, a mystery box that I ordered um, as part of an order I did actually like right before Bad Blood, and one of the things in that box was a uh, a four hundred round drum mag for a high kappa. Oh. Of which I do not have a high cap <laughs> yet, <laughs> so I think this is the perfect time to uh, pull the trigger on that. Now, did you win anything in the in the big raffle at the end of the game? I did actually. Yeah, I oh. um, I won a uh, a five pack of um, oh, what's the 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 new EMG mags that they came out with that have semi transparent and have the uh, the dummy rounds on the side of them. I got that, and... Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and then um, uh, an Odin uh, M4 speed loader, um, of which, ironically, I had uh, just ordered that exact same one two weeks ahead of, before that. <laughs> so it's a, it's in my bag to... Uh, so basically, those, those two items that I won, those are going to be designated as my loaner items for um either in game play or if somebody comes with and if they disappear oh well pass them on <laughs> <laughs> i'm always surprised at how much stuff doesn't get claimed um from lost and found um, yeah. i mean we all we, we pack it all up yep. um, but fortunately some some things did get claimed like some somebody lost a, a brand new um brand new um nice looking gold and black uh, gas blowback yep. 1911 mm -hmm. but um and you know we we had them specifically identify you know the brand and uh, when, when somebody comes up it's like oh i, I lost a pistol you know and we're not just going to say is it this one yeah exactly <laughs> you know because yeah but but they were able to get it back so i'm sure they were really happy because they just bought that thing so anyway yeah, that was good to get that back for sure yeah i wouldn't want to lose that well i'm i'm I think uh, that's a really good strategy in terms of uh, um, using the gift cards to get a mystery box because you can really get some really cool stuff out of a mystery box. Yep. So, yeah, you, that, that's that's a great way to get the most bang out of your buck. Yep, for sure. So one final question before uh, we uh, we end this. Mm -hmm. um, now, you've been watching my, my channel. Were, were you watching it before Bad Blood? I was not. Um, I... I didn't know you existed before I signed up for Bad Blood, <laughs> and then I started. Um, uh, I forgot how I first. Anyway, I was. I said. I think it was. I just started searching on YouTube for videos about Bad Blood to figure out, like, exactly how how the game was ran and stuff. Oh, and then yeah. I, I think it was that was around the time it was either the second or the third live stream event that you guys were on. Um, that I then found out all about. Uh, those streams you guys were doing and everything that you were doing as well. Well, I'm glad you, you slogged through it. I know it was a little, um, when we were, we started doing it, I was thought, okay, I don't know if people would sit through an hour of us discussing the game, but apparently people, yeah. you know, people did. Well, it, it was usually, so it, the, was, it wasn't so much of sitting down and watching that exclusively. It was a lot of times it was listening, more of listening to it. Um, after the fact, if I couldn't catch it live. So oh, this is true, yeah. which is you know why podcast formats work so well. Anyway, yeah. um, before I go down that rabbit hole, um, I just wanted to thank you for for getting on this uh, uh, this this Zoom chat and uh, for uh, for participating in the contest. Yeah, awesome. I appreciate all the ones that you're running. Awesome, uh, and I hope you get to, to your thousand subscribers any day now. <laughs> Same, same here. And to everybody else out there, I'm going to be giving away something, something cool and something different every week uh, till the end of December, till the end of August. And just stay tuned. Uh, I've got a really cool, um, I've got a really cool product to that uh, that I'm reviewing and also be giving away um, this week. So, uh, anyway, um, 
just be sure to hit that like and subscribe button because um, basically all of the contests are going to rely on you being a subscriber. So if you subscribe, you're you're halfway there. Just send me proof that you're subscribed, and just enter every every week because that that just shows that you're interested in winning that prize. Anyway, um, thanks to Corey for for being online, and thanks to everybody else who's uh, who's watching. You be safe out there, Moon Dog. Take care. Out. All right, we're out. Let me just hit that uh, because I got that little display there. That was. Be sure to check out MoondogIndustries.com for the next contest. No purchase necessary, void where prohibited, and you have to use your skills to navigate your phone to enter this contest. Complete rules are at MoondogIndustries.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to qualify.